Great day, it's Amanda. Great day, it's Amanda. And I just wanted to jump on here quickly on a topic, and that topic is comes from Romans 14, 16, even though it may seem a topical or that I'm taking it out of context. The gist of what I'm saying here on today to encourage someone is don't let your good be spoken evil of. And so let me give my disclaimer. I stand on a premise. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy. I'm not getting on here telling you to go against leadership. And in fact, I admonish you to, you know, fellowship and assemble. The Bible encourages us to, you know, don't forsake the assembling of ourselves with other believers we're to give honor where honor is due i don't want to give you a whole list of do's and don'ts but don't let your good be spoken evil of in fact in a word it tells us you know declare that you be justified so i just wanted to chat with you a few minutes um, on this topic because a lot of times there's miscommunication believe it or not now we can ask the Lord to give us discernment and clarity but it is really really important that you make yourself clear in certain situations um, in Amos 3 it tells us how can two walk together unless they be in agreement so even well we're dealing with your team and people who are within your circle of influence is vital to have that communication open you know otherwise you'll find yourself dealing with he said she said gossip and slander really is a sign of immaturity not to be condescending but the truth of the matter is you have to have the maturity to handle certain partnerships okay um in the bible it tells us we're striving and envying is there's every evil work are you letting your good be spoken evil of? Is there somebody within a circle who's creating a spirit of confusion? Maybe they're ignorant. Maybe they don't understand. Well, you have to make sure that there's not a weak link here. You know, love covers a multitude of sin, but in this day and age, we have technology. We have um, social media. We have email. We have text messaging. You know, we have video conferencing, which I really, really enjoy, um, FaceTiming. You know, I'm a little on a skeptical end when it comes to, like, you know, text messages and things. I want to know who I'm talking to. Don't let your good be spoken evil of. Make sure that you declare that you be justified, okay? Now, this is not to get you paranoid or caught up in a spirit of confusion, dividing the flock, but what it is doing is bringing clarity. Are you aware of the fact that, you know what? Um, the devil is a master deceiver. And that's what he, he produces, lying wonders, okay? So right now, I just want to jump on a scope and, and, and say this quick prayer. Lord, deliver me from lying lips and from a deceitful tongue. And if you're on the line on today and you feel as though you've been misrepresented, to, misrepresented, then understand that you can cry unto God and say, Lord, deliver me from lying lips and from a deceitful tongue. There are some people who just enjoy telling lies. There are folks who like to linger on the past. But the good thing about God, and I'm so glad that God is a good God. He said his mercies are new every morning. Great is his faithfulness. Do you understand that he has leveled the playing field? In James 4 2 it states, humble yourself in the sight of the Lord and he'll lift you up. Don't let your good be spoken evil of because folks can come up with lies and alibis at any time. But understand this, who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifies. And that comes out of Romans 8. And also in Romans 8 it states, and we know that all things work together for good to them who love the Lord, who are to call according to his purpose. I don't care who might have slammed your name through the mud. I'm here to let you know that the eye of the Lord is in every place beholding the evil and the good. We have a scroll, and I don't want to get so super spiritual. I don't want to get into theology and all this other stuff, but God's people will never be ashamed. Don't let your good be spoken evil of. If you have to go back and repent, if you got to pray about a situation, maybe you're not able to reach somebody directly. You can cry out in your private time and say, Lord, I don't know if such and such misunderstood what I said, if somebody misrepresented me, but God, I just want you to bring a spirit of peace in this situation. Your eyes are in every place. You know, um, um, forgive me from things I might have done knowingly or unknowingly. That way you have declared that you have been justified, okay? Because God will give us a way of escape out of every temptation. And understand that the, the enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy, but Jesus came to give us life and life more abundantly. Don't let your good be spoken evil of. There are folks who are you know going around they got a band of you know he says she said they said they don't like you you would think you get to a certain age and you know folks have outgrown that but you know somewhere in the mix somewhere in translation like you know some could have got mixed up in the mail you know um you're not the only one with that name honey uh, plenty of people got a facebook account plenty of people got twitter you know great minds are thinking alike but i'm here to let you know that god will not let your good be spoken evil of it's very important to reiterate and i like this scripture those that be planted in the house of the lord shall flourish in the courts of our god is that getting a little too you know in a nitty and a gritty i don't want to you know 
bore you with specifics, but I'm here to let you know that this is designed to encourage somebody on today. The Lord executes righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. I'm praying right now, Lord, that you bring a spirit of supernatural realignment in the name of Jesus, because we don't want our good to be spoken evil of. I don't want my good spoken evil of, but I can go to the scroll. So you reach a point in your prayer time with God where you understand that God is going to justify and vindicate you. It's not about just, okay, what did I sow today? Continually sow and have an expectation of your recompense. He said he will restore to us the years the canker worm and the locusts have consumed. Don't let your good be spoken evil of. You may be in between jobs right now. You may be going to school, but understand you sold a seed in your previous season and you have to expect the return of the manifestation because it's coming. As long as the earth remains, there'll be seed time and harvest. I'm here to let you know that God is a just God. He will not allow you to be misrepresented. God is a God who will bring you justice. God is a God who will bring manifestation to his promises. Don't be a person that does not have faith in that situation. Understand that faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Through it, the elders have obtained the good report. We prophesy in part, but guess what? God can see it all, for he knew us before we were formed in our mother's belly. I'm here to let you know. Oh yeah, you don't have to have your good spoken evil of. Misunderstandings happen all the time because people are operating from various paradigms. But the truth of the matter is, God wants you to represent his kingdom. And guess what? You don't have to be the victim of identity theft in the spirit realm. By their fruit, you'll know them. Where's my fruit at, Lord? Well, things take time, but guess what? He's a now God. He's an on-time God. He's a God that said, if you have the faith, come on now. I'm so glad I didn't have to pay my own ransom. Don't let your good be spoken evil of. Declare that you be justified. You know, um, redeem the time. You can redeem the time by clearing some things up because it's in the air. But guess what? God is a good God who will bring reconciliation. He said we have the ministry of reconciliation. Love covers a multitude of sins. Well, until next time, my friend, my brother and my sister, I want to tell you on today that you don't have to let your good be spoken evil of. If you want to go back in your own private time and meditate, it's Romans 14, 16. Shalom.